Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with the 23rd episode of Cult of Simulator The Priest Legacy with Harold Davidson. Now, uh, we do have a season of visions which comp uh, captured some fascination for us. And furthermore, we're doing another uh, high passion painting. So that does carry with it the danger of generating uh, fascination. In fact, it may generate that fascination before the restlessness decays. But at the very least, what I can do here is uh, generate a dread. In the ideal situation, it's going to be something that will uh, take out this first fascination, at which point it, um, you know, it, it's tranquilized. And if, in the worst case scenario, it'll just take it back down to a, like, a single uh, fascination. And at that point, maybe hopefully something like uh, the Leonine Tantra de Bellis Murorum or Kionet Abydos will, uh, will eliminate the... Um, uh, the fascination through generating a dread. There's other means of generating dread as well, or if we get a fleeting reminiscence through other means, we can uh, we can handle that. But I don't want to anticipate too much of what's going on. If we're lucky, we'll just um, you know we'll just get rid of the uh, fascination with some dread. Uh, we've got a free turn coming up. We've already gotten rid of the uh, notoriety. So with the raw profit, we've ha had some success with our new approach towards uh, notoriety. This is going to mean that we can go through expeditions a little bit faster, although you'll notice that while we did get a fairly large uh, sort of nest egg from selling this Bentreya, uh, we are sort of our net is uh, is still negative. Like the expeditions are rather good at uh, chewing up some some cash. So while I do want to get through these fairly rapidly, it is fair to say that we are going to run into some uh, some financial limitations, and uh, this is especially because I am ultimately going to want to write some commissions as well. Uh, I want to get a commission from Madame Bichet, and I'm going to want to fulfill a commission for, I believe the lantern would be for Dr. Adim. Uh, and then, of course, at some point I want to get this edge commission written, but uh, I'm going to have to read some books for that. So... Uh, let's just carry on. I think at this point I'm, I'm happy to wait. Uh, one last thing I want to do, though, is go to the White Door. And this is mostly just to try and, uh, you know, gobble up some forgotten forgotten chronicles, although in this case some winter, um, winter aspect wouldn't hurt either. Okay, let's talk to Madame Bichet about a new contract commission. And we did earn some notoriety for our devotion. Our devotion is drawn comment, which, you know, it'd be nice if we didn't have that happen, but... Again, a little dubious about spending money on the paints, but I'm I'm in decent enough shape that I can I can afford it. So another forge commission. This probably will generate an iron spin tray, which I probably want to act, auction off right away. One nice little mechanism here is that because Aura Flams requires the explore verb, if you've run out of money and can't do expeditions, it probably means that you have things that you can sell, and so essentially you can, you know, go to Oriflam, sell the furniture, and then be able to finance another expedition. Um, obviously, I would like it if I could go to Oriflam's as well, but it's the same as if you're working in Glover and Glover. Like, clearly you'd like to do summonings and paintings and and be able to, uh, you know, do, do commissions and such. Um, but there are some people who are willing to go out and, and do things on their own. Maybe make a video game company about, you know, uh, weird, <laughs> the weird and wonderful things you see when you look beneath the skin of the world. Uh, or maybe you stick in a office that doesn't appreciate your very intelligent work and do occasional YouTubing. Anyways, um, or maybe I should just become a priest. This, this will end well for Harold, right? Uh, moving on, we will... Well, we've got the commission already, so I think we'll leave the talk verb on its own. Let's see what the next couple turns bring us. So we need intuition, so our glimmering is about to expire, but we're able to pick it up. That's going to give us our next level of uh, secret histories. So we've got dread here. I want to be a little careful about this restlessness. So if the the terrible thing will be if the if we do generate a fascination out of this. Okay, it looks like we won't. Actually, maybe I don't know that for sure. Their blood pumps bright, then dark. They should not have opposed us. We move on. We did generate a fascination. Okay, so I'm going to get burned by the dread in a minute. So what we do in an emergency is we bring another member into the Church of the Bright Edge. Or alternatively, I could do a painting. Um... So we've got some spare glimmering to work with. I've got a contentment which will tranquilize the 
um, the dread if it comes down to that. And we didn't make any money, but we did get rid of the staleness, so I suppose there's a, a silver lining there. Okay, so I can paint away the restlessness if I want. I can paint away the restlessness and use a heck of a lot of reputation. So that's what I'm going to do. So that means I won't be doing the commission, but that's life. Icy Atmosphere would get me dread, but I'll get a fleeting reminiscence when the season passes, so... Intensity of Radiance is going to be tricky to deal with. The Invisible Arts, Christopher Lopoli is said to have remarked, are as profitable as macrame, as ethical as tobacco smuggling, and in general as beneficial as roulette. Still, there's always the Orchard of Lights, and indeed the Orchard, with its glowing fruit and its peaceful mist, is a place to be yearned for. Last night, I walked there in the peaceful hours of the deep night. Even after waking, I still carry with me a little bit of the glory of the old sun. Okay, uh, I still want to dream about the white door. I don't really see... To, and so there's always the risk of the intensity of radiance and the fascination and such, but generally I think it pays off more than it hurts. Actually, I am going to need a second, um, Dread. Shame on me. We will pay up for paints here because this should be a profitable painting. Strathcoin's treasure. Strathcoin's cozy sanctum. File, uh, uh, sorry, Strathcoin's cozy sanctum. A fire smolders in the grate. Glass cases display hard-won trinkets. We must seize what we can quickly. Strathcoin may already have telephoned the police. Okay, season of suspicion coming up. That's almost certainly going to generate some evidence against us, but we can work with it. I think I might have to kill the intensity of radiance with a... Uh, by bringing someone into the into the Church of the Bright Edge. It's work I can be proud of. With enough publicity, it will sell. Okay, a lot of mystique out of that. That's good. And decent enough um, haul of cash, I suppose. Well, four. I mean, I can't really complain about four. Uh, I think I'm just getting a little too used to, to being being treated like a, a very important VIP. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do the commission. I feel like painting wouldn't be a terrible idea right now, but... Let's take a couple reasons in there, and we'll write an extensive treatise on the lore of Lantern. This may be useful for a commission. The erudition we don't have much hope of, of making any use of right now. Out into the night, we escape unseen, but the next day there are reports of a fire at Strathcoin's. Did someone knock over a live coal on the hearthrug, or did Strathcoin destroy the place himself as part of some larger scheme? So, three notoriety on the table. Leftover money. So, volume three of Traveling at Night. The Wainscot Histories. A treatise on underplaces. The Locksmith's Dream. And finally, the Journal of Alessandro Le Croce, uh, which I believe gives me another language. Now, if I remember correctly, the first few scene text. Um, I can't recall the name, but the um, the one with uh, pages that are sharp as coral, I believe that used to come from Strathcoins when you, uh, in the, the very earliest beta. It wasn't one that you could read because the language text, uh, the language, um, the like the, the card didn't exist. Um, yeah, it's de de that old book is definitely not here, but... Um, all right, we'll bring a hint of the Percussigant in, a couple of funds. I don't really see any reason to sell stuff at, at Oriflams yet. So Cater and Hero Limited, it's been abandoned since the explosion when both the owners died. The machine stands silent, the building is a collapsing shell. Mr. Cater was known to display peculiar trinkets in his office, perhaps some yet remain. 
The remaining factory walls could topple at any moment. Blackened timbers creak in pain. We must equip ourselves properly and move with dreadful care. So we are limited in terms of what we're bringing with us. Uh, this definitely screams forge to me. I think lantern is something that uh, you can use to avoid the traps as well. But I'm using the I'm using the tools that I have available. So um, I'm going to still keep the talk verb available. I want the I kind of want the escape hatch on that. Uh, intensity of radiance if I need it. I've increased my knowledge of the secret histories behind the one we know, so it got a forbidden epic, the first of its kind. The attention of the hours is drawn to the bloodiest wars. Afterwards, the histories are braided like hair. Okay, so as far as the study verbs concerned, like we've got a lot of glimmering to work with. That's all well and good. Uh, and certainly I could use it to try and advance the waking chant. I, I sort of have what I need to work with that, but it seems very clear to me that the the most productive use of the study verb, both in terms of just the sheer volume of material that's, uh, that's going to be coming out. Oh, actually, as much as I want to use the fervor, I think letting it decay in 47 seconds is the right call, because we get a fleeting reminiscence, then we get a dread, and the fascination's not a problem anymore. Sorry, I know I'm switching tracks. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven texts plus another language. So essentially that seven minutes, that's going to generate seven different pieces of lore. Whereas most of the lore that I want is going to take multiple attempts over, or not multiple attempts, but it's going to take multiple sort of trials to get the inputs. And then on top of that, I'm going to need to do things to get those inputs. And so I'm essentially generating a new lore at, you know, one every three minutes, let's say. So in this case here, we've got enough of a stack of books, um, much my, like my own reading list, <laughs> that uh, we, um, I think at this point, it makes a lot more sense for me to read, especially because there's just so many edge, uh, edge texts in here. It's a little silly that I'm not, not already taking advantage of it. So in this case, this is the same text that we had when we translated it. The Tantra describes elliptically the great hooded princes and the multitudinous ways in which they influenced wars against foreign invaders of the land of the Great River, although in a sense they were also invaders. Let's try the Orchard of Light again. A rising power, a reassuring energy. The hours have been called unmerciful, but they permit sleepers sometimes to walk in the orchard of lights, where the fruit grows like a sorry, where each fruit glows like a sunset, where the roots of the trees are shaped for peaceful rest, where the mist soothes the heart. I was there last night, and the taste of the fruit lingers, sharp and sweet as the passage of spring to summer. And you know my feeling uh, about the risks of the way to the white door, so we're just going to hit that again. So 26 seconds, we'll get our first fleeting reminiscence. Season of Suspicions coming up, which will very likely uh, capture the notoriety. What I might want to do is go even bolder. And uh, so we'll add this hint first. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I could add funds now, or I could send another follower. Yes, so pits and quags and sudden tumbles. The earth here cannot be trusted. We need strong hands or clear sight, forge or lantern. So in this case, this gives me 16 lantern. The raw profit doesn't add anything here. Now, what I would normally like to do is take this raw profit um, and use the talk verb. But because of the consciousness of radiance, I do still want to allow myself the opt. Actually, I should probably sort this out for myself now. So in 13.8 seconds, I'm going to get a... Um, a, fleet, uh, a fleeting reminiscence, which will go into the uh, Season of Visions. The Consciousness of Radiance will turn into Fascination 40.8 seconds, which will be... Right, so that's going to be before this fervor... Okay, so the best that I can really hope for is that this fervor will turn into Dread, but it will be picked up after the Consciousness of Radiance. So, as much as I would like the Raw Prophet to get ready to deal with the evidence, I should be bringing uh, a hanger on into the Church of the Bright Edge. And I should have done that earlier just so I would have the resources available. But I, while I can undo time by reloading a save, that's, that's silly talk. This one is ready.
Okay, season of vision's coming up, so I gotta mind my manners as far as fascination goes again. Actually, no, it won't because uh, I'm guaranteed to have this still kicking around. I finished the manuscript, a very substantial investigation on Lantern. Okay. Now, there's an interesting question as to whether or not I can afford to... So there's a side of me... So if I, can th if I think that I'm going to be able to get rid of the fascination through other means, the fervor is something that I can use uh, in my work slot. I may want a last hurrah with my notoriety uh, to do a big sort of influence-based painting and make a lot of cash. Or I could say I've got enough money and I can do another commission. I think in this case here, let's take advantage of my notoriety. You never know, this may be a living. And I can't do the pulsing airs because I think that will count as a... I think that's going to count as a... Like something that will draw the attention of the Suppression Bureau. So we'll paint Enid. Something to remember them by, perhaps. So this should get picked up by the Season of Visions. Before they speak the words, a novice must sharpen a knife so it can separate a drifting thread. And it be not sharp enough, it will be the worse for them. So I'm going to risk uh, talking to the Raw Prophet here. Not because I think we're going to have evidence within 60 seconds, or probably within two minutes is the better uh, better way to look at it. But I just simply want to preserve, uh, preserve it. So the Watchman will clear our sight so that we can almost certainly pass without error. No reason to add anybody else to the expedition. So we'll leave it there. Let's do the Lodge of the... Oh, I think the secret history might actually be at the Orchard of Lights, but... Well, we avoided a intensity of radiance, so... I recall my... I recall my dream. This was the Lodge of Silk, flapping in the winds of the bounds at the Mansus Edge. And here was its mistress, who welcomed me as she welcomes all travelers. Company is nice, she confided, but I still miss my Christopher. Ten years. Ten years and not enough. But we could not have been long together, not without touching each other. And you know what occurs when a man long lies with a long woman. Or perhaps you don't. I hope you don't. I won't tell you, just in case. I will give you a tiny gift. And we have finished the uh, Leonine Tantra. Lions can be created, not as children are created, nor as words are created, but as weapons are created. The great hooded princes learnt to create lions from their spyings on the affairs of the hours, and not all lions now serve the Golden General. Big edge. All right, so that's eight edge. So certainly that will cover our commission. Uh, more importantly, that's potentially going to give us some access. Well, I mean, once we have uh, access to other tools, should maybe just take a quick look to see what it takes to uh, bring someone up to another level. But, uh, but yeah, uh, this is a this is a big deal for us. So. The colonel has been many things in many ages. He is blind, he is deaf, he cannot be wounded, he cannot be denied. His names are cunning as only the very old can be. So Moth and Edge are sort of our two, uh, are definitely our two big, um, our two big uh, lore right now. Well, I guess so, secret histories, but it doesn't even count as a real lore. Let's do De Debellus Mirorum. It's not likely to give me anything that I don't already have, but uh, I did say that I was going to keep going through the um, through the edge uh, edge lore. So, an 18th century epic poem by the pseudonymous Solipstos. The poem elliptically describes a war between beasts, weather phenomena, and arcane concepts. It's quite specific about their tactics. I can never remember where, whether I've read this one or not because I feel like that might have been where I got the knife secret in the first place. And I do want to pay for the colors of the night. This should be a painting that gives me a pretty good return. Also, we need to be going back through the white door. We're mud spattered and thorn scratched, but we made it through. Finished. Competent work. There's nothing to be ashamed of here. 
Recent work has accrued modest fame. My paintings have reviewed well. Now, I thought I saw the overexposure sign, so I have a feeling that there's going to be some consequences, but... That's my notoriety. Wow! <laughs> okay. We really annoyed people with that one. So, let me think a bit about what I want my next steps to be. The solidity of the everyday banishes phantoms. I tether myself to the everyday. Okay, so we've got restlessness coming up. I don't think it would hurt to... Yeah, you know what? I don't think we're at risk if we generate fascination from a passion painting. So we'll do that now. You never know, this might be a living. Uh, I do need to think of uh, inspiration. So let's say it's a painting about my glimmering. Actually, that generates moth. So let's not do glimmering. Uh, we'll do a painting of Rhaenyra. And it's fairly likely that we'll see, um, fairly likely that we'll, uh, we'll have some evidence coming, coming up against us. Painting whispers, windows wink. I know these things are not true, but how can I be certain? I think my words cease like sand in a glass. Do I want to talk about something else, or do I... I think probably talking to Dr. Adim about the commission's a good idea. I have what the doctor requested. I, I mean, I can store it so that I can get a big bundle of... Um, like erudition and glimmering, but the fact of the matter is I'm going to be reading so many books for such a long time that I don't really think it's worth preserving. The two one joined and the horn distinguished. Consequently, blood. Chiliarch's lesson. This is the bone deep story, the thousand month alert in antiquity of blood and its exits. To speak it aloud is to hear the sword hiss. So clearly I've not read this text before because we didn't have a level four edge. Oh, I could have seen what it would have taken to bring people up to a higher level in the guild. All right, well, we can do that. We can do that later. I'm not going to pay for the paints just because this is uh, a passion project. So, Kion at Abydos. A play dealing with the nine-year sojourn of a snow goddess in the Thracian city of Abydos by Apollo Fireweaver. It enjoyed success in London in its 1892 edition, where it was republished from apparently an older Greek text. The entity called Kion arrives in a blizzard and demands the city gates are barred. As Abydos falls under her spell, the dead return, but do not speak. I receive the currency of the secret world and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. It's a little mystique might help, but I don't want to count on it. Now I am going to just try something here. So if I did... Um, I'm going to use Saliba as an example just for... Because if I use an edge follower, their edge is going to go and... Um... Wow. We really just need the colonel's names. Cool. The follow uh, so Saliba. Saliba understands blood. He does not yet understand birth. My follower will kneel as a novice and rise as an initiate. I will administer the necessary oaths myself. I think given that we're going to spend a minute on that, I should probably put the Raw Prophet in the expedition just to preserve them. That's a pity. The Sun in Splendor, the hour who once ruled the Mansus, was known to walk in the orchard before his terrible division. Sometimes his remnants walk here still. Sometimes I see the chilly radiance of the Menescape through the trees or the chillier radiance of the Sun in Rags. Were they to come upon me, it might be my end, but to see them in the distance is the gift of insight. So once again, we're going to go back to the white door. And we will add the raw profit. I mean, I don't expect too much out of this, but just being able to keep it around for a little bit longer is nice. Utter focus. All that I am is here. Cater's office. Here is the capacious room where Mr. Cater once watched his workers on the factory floor. The window glass is long gone, and rats and crows have made this place their battleground. But perhaps there is still something of use here. A recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell. So contentment, if the dread gets out of hand, definitely good to have some mystique. A couple of dollars, and we have the same <laughs> we have the same staleness that we had before. Okay, 
Um, let's do a commission then. This may be useful for a commission. Probably I'm overdoing it with the forge, but I'm not too worried about that. Shadows are shelter from light. Despair is ballast. Even misery has its uses. The visions abate. Two floorboards lift away to reveal a hollow beneath Cater's desk. The rats have made free with the biscuits he stored here against the peckishness which haunts the entrepreneur, but they could not penetrate this iron lockbox. A moment with a crowbar will open it. So, good work, Raw Prophet. There's my fourth notoriety. This would have been wonderful for a painting, but I don't want to try my luck as far as the... Um, as far as the staleness goes. So, Bronze Bentreya for my trouble. A vital pigment. It is not usual for a red this red to survive the death of the body. We've got an abandoned warehouse. Now, I think we're out of room for locations in the city, so let's maybe move these down. Miravine Idol. The Miravai would make little wooden idols to placate the witch twins they feared in their lake. The lake is almost dry now, but the idols and the witch twins yet remain, yet shadowed with the aspect of the heart. And finally, the Lord Franklin Bancroft Diary, 1750 to 1790, the notorious journal of a notorious gentleman written in Latin, no doubt for the sake of safety. Uh, I think it was a Tumblr account, but there was a delightful... Um, account that somebody ran uh, expanding on Lord Franklin Bancroft's diaries. I very much enjoyed some of the some of the work that, that they did that. If Incidentally, I, I don't mean to ask too much of people who watch, but if you happen to have the link for the Lord Franklin Bancroft diaries and you would like to you know give other viewers the chance if they've not seen it, um, you know, please feel free to put that inside the comments. I think that's a wonderful use where you know, you don't necessarily have to feel obligated to, to do something, but in this case, it's a comment that other people can get the benefit from. And of course, if you don't see that comment down below, you can know that I feel like a very sad and lonely man, and then you can take pity and, and add it inside of that. Plus one despair. Uh, okay, let's see where we're at. Um, I think I've got enough money. I mean, I clearly have enough money for another expedition. The Forsaken Reach isn't going to get me any books. Well, sorry, that may not be true. Um, I, I rarely get books from the Forsaken Reach if I, uh, if they are there. Well, I say rarely. I, I, I do not recall the last time I've gotten books from here, uh, at least since they made the change. Um, so along the gray banks of the rotting river, the warehouses wait. Perhaps I have identified one where an unusual cargo was stored. So I believe this one does have two entries, so I am going to lose the two funds for it. But uh, obviously being able to preserve the... Uh, you know, the life, lifetime of uh, some of my summons is hard to pass up. I do want to keep the raw profit around, though, because it seems to me like we're going to have to deal with... Um, we are going to have to deal with evidence sooner rather than later. Mirrors are calm. The sun is steady. The glory recedes. I'm sane if that means anything. And as yet, I have only the needs and desires of any other mortal. But what stirs in me? So I will use... I'll probably use that restlessness in a painting, but we'll see. I'm almost at the point now where I kind of want the the evidence to pop up just so I can use this raw profit. <laughs> For eight years, the city is a place of slow death, frosty ecstasy, and silent beauty. But in the ninth year, a conspiracy of shouts is uh, mounted against the, uh, the quiet that Keon demands. The conspirators open the city gates, and a scarred man comes to drag Keon out by the hair. Summer returns, but the conspirators die of remorse. And we have a white ceremony. When I speak it, my lips don't crisp with frost. Each time, this is surprising. All right. Now, um, normally I try not to split the reading of a text over to entries, just because it's kind of nice to have that coherence inside of the um, inside of the you know the the video. It's also kind of nice just for me to keep track of things. So I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I believe this should be the last video of the week. So the overall plan now, I do want to make sure this restlessness is dealt with. That will likely be done uh, through a painting. We have another season of ambitions coming up, so I will need to keep an eye on my restlessness. That's actually not so bad. Um, I think what will happen here is this restlessness will go into a passion painting. 
we'll maybe decide what to do with the restlessness later. Um, it's clear that if I'm able to upgrade Saliba, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do with my followers using the talk verb. That's a little bit of bad news for the raw profit, but again, we'll we'll run with um, we'll kind of run with what we've got. Study verb, it's obviously what, obvious what I'm going to do. It's also obvious what I'm going to do with the uh, white door, but we still have so many books to go through. I just simply don't see me using the... Um, I just simply don't see me using the um, the uh, the erudition and glimmering that I'm getting uh, over the next little while. So it's, it's a nice place to be for the playthrough just simply because there's lots of things for me to be doing. And uh, I've been able to keep above water for the most part as far as funds are concerned so that is kind of going into that's going straight back into the expeditions and, and generating more stuff for me to work with so with any luck for those of you who like a little bit of a brisker pace uh, for the next few turns uh, we should hopefully be making some some decent progress with the lore and then of course once we go back to doing commissions uh, we'll be in a position to maybe upgrade some of our uh, some of our existing lore uh, even further but as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel already and you are enjoying what you're seeing, feel free to subscribe. And if you want, you can also hit the bell for notifications when new videos come on. It is 6.30 uh, Eastern time on Mon Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday that these videos should be coming online. And then usually sometime in the morning, the archives from the live Twitch broadcasts, which usually aren't Cult of Simulator now, will come up as well. And of course, it does help me out if you do leave a like uh, on the video, and uh, comments also do draw attention to things. And I, I definitely notice that it's, like, statistically, uh, there's a difference. And then, of course, I also do appreciate hearing from all of you. So if you want to, uh, feel free. But of course, I don't leave comments myself when I watch YouTube videos, so I never expect them. And if you didn't like the video, you can dislike as well. But I will resent it. Now, I need that feedback too. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you all on Monday. Take care.